Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this mathematical problem without a calculator. And make sure to stick until the end of the video where I have two bonus problems that are similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 10 to the power of 3 plus 15 to the power of 3 plus 20 to the power of 3 all divided by 10 times 15 times 20. So I'm first going to rewrite this as 10 is the same thing as 5 times 2, so 5 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 15, this is 5 times 3, so 5 times 3 to the power of 3 plus 20 is 5 times 4, so 5 times 4 to the power of 3. All over, 10 is the same thing as 5 times 2, times 15 is the same thing as 5 times 3, times 20 is the same thing as 5 times 4. Now this is equal to 5 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 times 4 to the power of 3. All over. There's three fives here, so 5 to the power of 3 times 2 times 3 times 4. Now this is equal to, if I factor out 5 to the power of 3 from all this, I get 5 to the power of 3 times 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3. Now I have this over still 5 to the power of 3 times 2 times 3 times 4. Now these two 5 to the power of 3's cancel out, so I'm simply left with 2 to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 over 2 times 3 times 4. Now 2 to the power of 3 is 8, plus 3 to the power of 3 is 27, plus 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Now I have this over 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24. Now this is equal to 8 plus 27 is 35, 35 plus 64 is 99. So I have 99 over 24, which just simplifies into 33 over 8, and which is equal to... 4 and 1 eighth. So this is our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this tricky algebraic equation. So I have 31 times 34 times 37 times 40 plus 81 is equal to n squared. And make sure to stick until the end of the video where I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so we are obviously trying to find the value of n here. So, as you can see, we start off with 31, and 31 is the smallest number out of all of these, 81 being the greatest number. So I'm going to let the variable x equal 31. So now, if I replace, or sorry, if I plug in 31 for x, I get x times now, the difference between 31 and th 34 and 31 are, is 3, right? So I have x plus 3, because 34 is 31 plus 3, times, now the difference between 37 and 31 is 6, so I have x plus 6, times 40, which is x plus 9, plus 81. We are not going to change 81. This is equal to n squared. Now, If I rearrange these, I can rewrite this as x times x plus 9. I'm simply bringing x and x plus 9 together times x plus 3 times x plus 6. Plus 81 is equal to n squared. Now I'm going to let t equal x squared plus 9x. So as you see here, we have x times x plus 9. So now, if I multiply these two together, I get x squared, because x times x is x squared, plus 9 times x is 9x. Now, x plus 3 times x plus 6 
by x times x is x squared plus x times 6 is 6x. Six now if I distribute 3, 3 times x is 3x plus 3 times 6 is 18. And I have plus 81 is equal to n squared. Now x squared plus 9x times 6x plus 3x is 9x. So I have x squared plus 9x plus 18 plus 81 is equal to n squared. Now I let t equal to x squared plus 9x. Remember that. So now if I replace t with x squared plus 9x, I get t times t plus 18 plus 81 is equal to n squared. Now if I distribute the t here, I get t squared plus 18t plus 81 is equal to n squared. Now this is the same thing as t plus 9 squared. So I have t plus 9 squared is equal to n squared. And this means that t plus 9 is equal to n. Now remember how we said that t is equal to x squared plus 9x, right? So this means that x squared plus 9x plus 9 is equal to n. And also remember how x is equal to 31. So this means that 31 squared plus 9 times 31 plus 9 is equal to n. So now 30 squared is the same thing as 30 plus 1 squared plus 9 times 3 is simply going to be 279 plus 9 equals n. Now this is the same thing as 30 squared plus 1 squared plus 20, 279 plus 9 is equal to n. 30 squared is 900, so I have 900 plus 1 plus 279 plus 9, which is going to be 281. Oops, sorry. 30 plus 1 squared, sorry. This is going to be 30 squared plus 2 times 30 plus 1 squared. Then I have plus 279 plus 9 is equal to n. Now I have 900 plus 60 plus 1 plus 281 is equal to n. Sorry, 288 is equal to n. Now, now I have 961 plus 288 is equal to n, and 961 plus 288 is going to be 1,249. So this is our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this mathematical problem. And make sure to stick until the end of the video, where I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have 78 plus 75 times 94. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to replace 78 with 3 plus 75 because 3 plus 75 is equal to 78. So now I have 3 plus 75 plus 75 times 94. Now, 75 plus 75 times 94, we can simply rewrite this as 3 plus 75 times 95. And 95 here, this is the same thing as 100 minus 5. So now I have 3 plus 75 times 100 minus 5. Now I can distribute the 75. So now I have 3 plus 7,500, because 75 times 100 is 7,500, minus 75 times 5. Now I have 3 plus 7,500 minus 75 times 5 is the same thing as 70 plus 5 times 5. Now if I distribute the 7, or sorry, if I distribute the 5, I get 3 plus 7,500 minus... 350 plus 25. This is equal to 3 plus 7,500 minus 
375. So now this is equal to 3 plus 7,125, which is equal to 7,128. Now for method 2 of solving this problem, I have 78 plus 75 times 94. Now this is the same thing as 3 plus 75 plus 75 times 94. And now I'm going to rewrite this as 3 plus 75 times 85. plus 10. Now this is equal to 3 plus 75 times 85 plus 75 times 10. And now this is equal to 3 plus 80 minus 5 times 80 plus 5 plus 75, 750, because 75 times 10 is 750. And this is equal to 3 plus 6400 minus 25 plus 750, which is equal to 7150 minus 25 plus 3, which is equal to 7128. So as you can see, we used two, two different methods, but we got the same answer.